to me, what innovation equates to is about is opportunity. So I think you know, th through through innovation, the opportunities come to be able to to for businesses to develop, for be able to um, move forward in, in so many ways. I think it's got a very I think it's got a very strong cultural um, a, a cultural aspect to it, uh, and I think that again works at all different levels. I think. At an individual level, you want to empower people to have, have the freedom to be able to think that they can innovate, to not, not to be constrained. I think from a, uh, an organisational level, you have to sort of see the challenges that, are, that any organisation is facing and see that, that you ca things can't stay the same. So therefore, if things can't stay the same, then the processes around innovation becomes front and centre in, in, I think, the thinking of an organisation. And then, of course, at a national level, we want to be able to put um, as much framework in there to, to, really, to really support, to support that. And, you know, that comes around about appetite to risk, about that it's okay to fail, because I think that's, that's a really important driver of innovation, is saying you're not going to get it right every time. But that doesn't matter. It's about seeding opportunity, uh, and, and not all those seeds are going, are going to actually grow. It's, it's an interesting proposition because I, I, I personally think there's three factors that need to come in. I think there needs to be the external environment, I think there needs to be an organisational framework where people are, are actually existing, um, and then there's also something within the individual, the curiosity within the individual to be able to make it happen. Um, and, and, and when there's an alignment of those, then it really happens. Uh, uh, I think the, one of the, the, the great um, tragedies is, is in any sort of organisation when that curiosity of the individual is, is squashed. Uh, you know, so it doesn't get the opportunity to be enlivened and to be, to be put into the mix. But I think if any of those three are not in, are not in play, then it becomes very difficult. So if, if the, you know, the individual is, for, for whatever reason, not curious, uh, not open, uh, if the organisation is not willing to to be receptive to it, and if there's not enough external environment which is actually driving people for that change, if they become too comfortable and say, well, you know, I'm comfortable to stay where I am, um, then, then those factors may not give rise to the, to, the, to the opportunity that can come through innovation.